Also known as the Rose City, with a population of 56,000 people, Welland is a top choice for many families to live and raise their family. Welland is near and dear to my heart because I actually grew up in Welland and lived there for over 25 years. So if you're thinking about making a move to Welland and Niagara's on your short list, then this is the video you're going to watch because in today's video, I'm going to talk about the top four neighborhoods in Welland. So stick around. What's up guys, I'm Andrew Kulikowski. Only days away from summertime. I remember riding my bike up and down this path. There's a reason why homes in this neighborhood sell so fast. Going to Tim Hortons, our local high school. If you're serious about location and you love to entertain, are you ready? Well, let me show you why. What's going on guys? My name is Andrew Kulikowski and I am a local realtor with eXp Realty and born and raised right here in beautiful Niagara region. If this is your first time visiting my channel, if you haven't already noticed my channel is all about what it's like living in Niagara from work, play, eating, buying and selling real estate and literally everything else in between. So if you want to stay current on what's happening in Niagara and maybe you're considering making that move now or in the future, then do yourself a favor and make sure you hit like, subscribe and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post up videos just like this one. So as mentioned in today's video, I'm going to talk about the top four neighborhoods in Welland. Now the question is, you're probably wondering too, how do I come up with what the top four neighborhoods are in Welland. Well, first off, as I've already previously mentioned, I've lived in Welland for over 25 years. So I have a pretty good idea, or at least I think I have a pretty good idea of which neighborhoods are by popular demand. The other one is obviously I help clients, friends and family buy and sell real estate in Welland every year. So I have a pretty good idea of where people enjoy actually living in Welland. But the truth is there is no right or wrong answer. And really it comes down to your needs, wants, and personal preferences. And of course, what type of budget you are working with. And the first neighborhood I'm going to talk about is the North End or North Welland. Now this area represents probably one of the largest areas in Welland. And I guarantee you when you talk to someone who may live in Welland or anyone that knows a thing or two about Welland, when you ask which areas are their favorite, I will guarantee that the North End is probably going to be the first one that they actually bring up. Now, the reason for this is quite simple. It is a very safe, good working class neighborhood. And in fact, that's the area that I personally grew up in. Now, in the North End, you have the Niagara College campus and around the radius of the Niagara College campus, you have some really, really great neighborhoods. Uh, also very, very convenient in the North End. You're only minutes away from Niagara Street and Woodlawn Road which is the main shopping district of Welland, or at least North Welland. In these areas, you have the Seaway Mall, you have Walmart, you have Canadian Tire, you have Rona, and of course, all the restaurants and other shops that you can imagine are going to be there. Now, the average price for a single a detached home in Welland right now is 630,000. Now within the radius of Niagara College, Niagara College being kind of the central point in the North End, and that's why I'm using that as a central point, a lot of the neighborhoods that are in this area range from uh, the 1970s, 80s, 90s, and into the 2000s. And as you go a little bit further north, closer to the South Pelham district, you're gonna find some newer real estate in that area there from homes being built in the 2000 to current day. Also in the North End, you have a great public transit system, so it's really easy to get around. So if you are renting or you're even a student, it is super simple to access bus stops and get around anywhere, basically in the North End of Welland. Also in the Northern part of the North End of Welland, closer to South Pelham, you're basically on the border of Font Hill as well, which gains you really easy access into Font Hill if you wanna take advantage of the amenities, shopping or restaurants that Font Hill has to offer as well. And number two is Prince Charles. Now, Prince Charles is more centrally located, just below what we would classify the north end of Welland. Prince Charles is also a very big area in the Welland vicinity. Now, Prince Charles basically goes as far as the Welland Canal on the east side and spans down to the southwest end corner by Weber Road. Now, Prince Charles 
the type of real estate you'd expect to find in Prince Charles are going to be a little bit older neighborhoods than maybe what you'd find in the North End. Typically 70s, 70s and 80s is a very common era for the types of homes uh, in this area. Uh, bungalows, side splits, back splits, those types of homes are very popular with tree-lined streets, a lot of maturity in these neighborhoods as well. And again, a very safe working class neighborhood. You're also surrounded by some really great schools and parks. Now, as previously mentioned, in the southwest end of Prince Charles, you have a newer development taking place, basically on the border of rural Welland, based on Weber Road. Now, the area is now called Coyle Creek, and in Coyle Creek, you have a new development taking place called Harvester Estates. The main builder in that area is Mountain View Homes. Now, a lot of people who reach out to me that are looking at maybe new development or new construction, this is an area that I steer them in. You're gonna find larger homes in this area, a lot of raised bungalows, two stories, as well as semi-detached, and there are some townhomes in this area too. You also have a park right in the middle of this vicinity called Coyle Creek. Now the average price home in this area is going to be a little bit higher than say North Welland at an average price now hovering around 900,000 for a detached home in this area. Also, you're only steps away from the Welland River. So if you're a fisherman and you like to fish, that's a great spot for that. If you're a golfer, you're literally only a two minute drive to Cardinal Lakes Golf Club. And number three, this is one of my favorite neighborhoods in Welland is Chippewa Park. Now Chippewa Park, represents a much smaller area than say the North End or the Prince Charles area. Chippewa Park is basically more or less a neighborhood consisting of three or four various streets surrounding the actual park, Chippewa Park. Now there's a lot of rich history in Chippewa Park. And if you know anything about Welland, this area used to be a very affluent area dating back to the late 1800s into the early 1900s. Now, some of the popular streets in the Chippewa area are Parkway Avenue, Edgar, and also Norway Avenue. Now, if you are in that area, it's quite evident and you'll be able to see that at the entranceway of Parkway Avenue, you've got some beautiful old tapestry brick archways that enter Parkway Avenue with a beautiful boulevard that separates the street. A lot of the type of architecture in this area dates back to the French and Tudor style architecture with some beautiful, beautiful charm and character in a lot of these neighborhoods. This location being super accessible as well because you're very close to Niagara Street. So again, you've got all the major amenities that Niagara Street has to offer. As well, of course, you have Chippewa Park. Now Chippewa Park is arguably one of the nicest parks in Welland, and it could even go up against any of the nicest parks in the Niagara region. Now, Chippewa Park has a lot of beautiful green space. It has a play area for kids. It has two sand volleyball courts. You have a pond which you can fish. You can ice skate in the winter time. You also have a baseball diamond, a community center, and some beautiful, lush, well-landscaped gardens that look amazing in the summertime. You're also a very short walk to St. Kevin School, Fitz Street Public School, and Notre Dame High School. And number four is Highway 406. Now this area, the neighborhood isn't called Highway 406, but they relate it to that vicinity in Welland. Now it's located at the northeast corner or quadrant of Welland. You have basically the 406 that runs straight through splitting two neighborhoods that are classified in this distinctive area. Now the one side, on the west side of the 406, you have a neighborhood that dates back approximately 20 to 25 years with a mix of detached homes, townhomes, and semi-detached homes. Now on the other side of the 406, which is actually called Hunter's Point, this is a super unique community. It is a 55 plus community that was built around originally what was going to be a golf course. Now the golf course was called Hunter's Point, so they kept the name, but approximately 10 years ago, developers bought the land, they closed the golf course and started selling off parcels of land for local builders to build homes. Now homes in this area are a little bit more expensive and range at an average of 900 to a million dollars. The mix of homes or type of homes in this area are typically detached as well as townhomes. Now, another unique feature about the Hunter's Point community being a 55 plus is that there are um, common maintenance fees that one would pay at approximately $280 a month 
similar to HOA fees that you would pay in the US if you're from the United States. That includes exterior maintenance, snow shoveling. It also includes access to the community center, a pool, a billiard, as well as pickleball courts. So it really gives you a sense of community when you're living in this area. There's also only one way in and one way out, which also kind of adds to the exclusivity of this type of neighborhood. Also, another super convenient thing of being in this vicinity is that you are only steps away or a really short drive away from the Canadian Tire, the Walmart, the Rona, the gas station, and other shopping centers are actually being developed in this vicinity right now. Also, another added benefit, if you do commute to work, you have quick access to the 406, which will take you into St. Catharines. Or if you have to go the other way, you have quick access to the 406, taking you into Port Colborne or Niagara Falls. Now to summarize everything, as I previously mentioned, when it comes to picking a neighborhood or a location in a specific city, it really comes down to your needs, wants, personal preference, and of course, budget. Now, if you're interested in learning more about anything I spoke about today, or you want more information about any of these neighborhoods, I encourage you to reach out to me or put your questions in the comment section below. And there's one thing you need to do before you go, make sure you guys hit like, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post up similar videos just like this one. But that's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all on my next video.